So far in this section, we have talked about Mongoose models, CRUD operations with Mongoose. We did a lot of querying and we also learned about the aggregation pipeline. But now for the next couple of videos, let's now return to our data model and learn about some super useful features that Mongoose offers us in order to model our data. And in this lecture, we are going to talk about virtual properties. And in order to learn about virtual properties, let's first go ahead and let's open our movie model. Now, a virtual property is basically fields that we can define on our schema, but it will not be persisted. That means these fields will not be saved in the database. Usually we use virtual properties by deriving it from an existing field. For example, let's say we are storing the date of birth of the user in the database. From this date of birth, we can calculate the age of the user. So in the data model, age can be a virtual property which can be derived from the date of birth field. Another example would be, let's say in the database, we are storing the distance between two places in miles, but we want to output it in kilometers. So we can easily do that conversion from miles to kilometers using virtual properties. Now in our example, in this movie model, we want to have a virtual field called duration in hours, which will show the movie duration in hours. Currently, we are already displaying the duration in minutes. So for that, we have this duration field here, but we also want to display the duration in hours. So we are going to create a virtual property called duration in hours that will derive its value from this duration field. Now, in order to create a virtual property, what we need to do is on the schema. So here we have this movie schema. On this schema, we need to call virtual. To that, we need to pass the name of the virtual field. I will call it duration in hours. Okay. And on that, we are going to call this get method. This get method is basically a getter method. And it will make sure that this virtual property gets created each time when we get some data from the database. For example, we have eight movie documents in the database. So when we query all the documents for each document, a duration hour virtual property will be created and it will be assigned with some value by calling this get method. Okay. Now to this get method, we need to pass a callback function. And here for the callback function, I'm going to use a regular function syntax. Okay. Here, I'm not going to use arrow function syntax because inside this function, we are going to use this keyword. And in a regular function, when we use this keyword, that this keyword gets assigned with the object on which we are currently using it. But an arrow function does not get its own this keyword. Okay, so if you know the basics of JavaScript, you already know that the arrow function does not get its own this keyword. But inside this function, we want to use this keyword. We basically want to return this dot duration, which will give us the duration in minutes for that current document. And we want it to convert it into hours. So we can divide it by 60. So as you can see here, we are using this keyword and this keyword here is going to point to the current document, the current movie object. And since inside this callback function, we want to use this keyword here. I'm using a regular function syntax. I'm not using arrow function syntax because as I mentioned, arrow function does not get its own this keyword. Okay. So generally when we want to use this keyword, we should always use normal regular functions. Now, this is the first step where we have created a virtual field. Now, in order to display it in the output, we need to explicitly specify it in the schema. Currently, if I go ahead and save the changes, and if you go to Postman, and there, if I go to Get All Movies API, and here, when I click on this send button, that means when I make a request to this endpoint, you will not see duration in hours field here. Okay, so here we have the duration field, but you will not see duration in hours field here. For that, we need to add that field explicitly to this schema. Now, how are we going to do that? So if you remember previously, when we talked about this movie.schema method, there I mentioned that to this movie.schema method, the first argument is the object where we specify the schema for our model. Okay, so this first object is used to define the schema for our model. And then we can also specify a second argument here, which is again going to be an object. And this object is going to be an object of options. 
and here we need to set some options so the first option which we are going to specify here is to json and here we are going to assign it an object and there we will set virtuals to true now what does this mean here we are basically telling that each time the data is outputted as json we want virtuals to be true that means we want the virtual properties to be part of the output currently when we are making request from postman here we are getting the output in the form of json data so when we are getting the output in the form of json data there we want to have the duration in hours field so that's what we are telling it here that when we are outputting the data in json form we want the virtual properties to be true that means we want all the virtual fields to be displayed in the json data and here we also want to set to objects and there also we are going to assign an object and we will set virtuals to true because when we are outputting the data as an object there also we want to have this field so that we can use it in our code if we don't specify this line then when we output the data in json form there we will have all the virtual fields but we will not have it in the object but let's say in the output in the ui instead of displaying the duration in minutes we want to display it in hours so in that case we want to have this duration in hours field on the object also so that we can access it and we can use it i hope it is clear with this let's save the changes let's go to postman and let's go ahead and let's make a request again and now this time we should have a duration in hours field so scroll down here you can see we have this duration in hours field which is set to 1.95 then for all other movie documents also we have this duration in hours field okay all right now one thing which you need to remember is that you cannot use virtual properties in querying data that's because these virtual properties are technically not a part of the database right so for example you cannot say something like let me scroll up okay so you cannot say something like movie dot find and there as a filter you pass duration in hours has two this is not going to work because this duration in hours it is a virtual property it is not actually present on the documents okay it is just a virtual property so we cannot use it inside a query if you try this you are going to get an error all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day